Salute to everybody watching this video. We got Stephen A. and Kendrick Perkins in the building. In this video, they uh, debate if the Nets should let Kyrie Irving return. I wanted to highlight some Stephen A. said. He pretty much gave a timeline to why the NBA and all these sports analysts are hating on Kyrie Irving. So I got the video for you guys. But before we get started, hit the like for Kryptonite. Don't forget to subscribe. Let go. To in just a second. So you heard him, fellas, 2-0, able to focus on basketball in Kyrie's absence. Stephen A., should the Nets want Kyrie back? <clears throat> I'm going to say yes. Um, I'm not going to disrespect Kyrie like that. Um, we know that he's a superstar talent. We also know he's a headache. Uh, it's a distraction every single year. Uh, but it's never been a distraction of this magnitude. Uh, the first year was injuries and speculation that he didn't want to play without Ky uh, KD and then obviously dissuading people from playing in the bubble. The second year he disappears for a couple of weeks and he needs an emotional break because of the riots at the U.S. Capitol uh, before getting caught partying with his family. Uh, last year it was the vaccine and you know that's different. This is different uh, because this is a this is a tsunami uh, of criticism of of if if it it's of a highly sensitive nature obviously you insulted the jewish community um and as a result you created a maelstrom of controversy and there is no getting around that and so i think that unlike ever before his career is in jeopardy because he's one of those guys that regardless of how great how herculean of a talent he is is he worth the headache is he worth the trouble if you are the Brooklyn Nets, where are you going without him? Uh, the reality of the situation is, uh, 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 what is it, Watanabe? Is that how you pronounce this kid's name? I like what I'm seeing from him. Mm -hmm. Cam Thomas, uh, I like what I'm seeing from him. And KD is KD, of course. Royce O'Neal, I think, is playing well for them. And that team chemistry, that camaraderie, and all of that other stuff, I think that Kyrie recognizes that he's on his last chance. I don't think he ever saw it that way before. There were questions as to whether or not he would get his money, but there wasn't a question about his career until now. There are plenty of examples we can use in the world of professional sports where dudes had a lot left, but they weren't considered, uh, uh, it wasn't, they weren't considered worth the risk because of the cancerous impact they were perceived to uh, being to, to ultimately having on a locker room. I think that's where Kyrie Irving is at this particular moment in time. And I think because of that, if there was ever a time where he would just focus on playing and outside of that would not have much to say, I think this would be it. And that's why I'm of that mindset, Kendrick, Kendrick Perkins. Well, it's a, <clears throat> I, I have to disagree with you on this one. And if I'm the Brooklyn Nets, okay. I can't bring Kyrie back into that locker room. We just heard Kevin Durant speak on the, the camaraderie. Um, guys come together basically in fellowship. The locker room in the basketball is the guy's sanctuary. This is when they come together. This is their livelihood. And we talked about, you, you just alluded to the magnitude of this situation for us, what it's going to be. See, here's the thing about this situation. It's no in-between. Is no straddling the fence. It's either you're all the way on the left or you all the way on the right. Now, I'm not here to say whether the left is good or the right is bad, whatever the case may be. But I am here to say is, is this. When it comes down to the team and it comes down to those other individuals in that locker room, you cannot afford to put those young guys in harm's way. And when I say in harm's way, Stephen A., majority of the NBA is over 80% African-American. Half of those guys get it out the mud. Half of those guys are the guys that are providing for their family. I wake up every single day and I wear this right here, not because I want you to come on here and call me Mr. T. It's because it's a reminder that this is my wife and my four kids that come first. And this is why I get out the bed to go do it for them. That's the same with those guys that are sitting on that bench. So at the end of the day, you can't afford 
for them to have a slip up and say something wrong in the media. You can't afford for them to have a wrong tweet or answer a question that actually could jeopardize their career. I'm not taking anything away from Kyrie Irving. We know he's a spectacular basketball player, but as we have known over the last couple of weeks, this situation at hand is bigger than the game of basketball. It's bigger than that. So if I'm the Brooklyn Nets, I politely tell Kyrie Irving, hey, man, just sit it out, you know, do whatever you got to do, do whatever you have to do, and let us just rock out the rest of the season. Are the Brooklyn Nets going to win the championship? No. But are they going to be okay in the future? Probably so. But still in all, you cannot put those other guys in that locker room in harm's way. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For